Shannon National School today in Kildare and we're interested to find out what young people would do if they were the government. Uh, so, so tomorrow is budget day so we're challenging them to come up with what categories they should support and how much money they would give to each category. Well it's important to um, show the children that maths is a real life experience that it's every single day and also that maths can be fun. Um, we're trying to move away from just the textbook and doing some in the copy. Um, we use a lot of problem solving and events like Maths Week give us an opportunity to surround the children with maths and maths problems and exercises during, and activities during the whole week. So it was really terrific because they, they worked in, in groups, they tried to allocate the money so they were doing a lot of maths today and they were also having a lot of discussion to see which were the most uh, worthy causes and uh, what they came up with was that 31% uh, of the budget should be uh, spent to uh, solve the housing crisis and then the next biggest uh, category was health with uh, 20% and the others were in around 10-8% uh, with the lowest being a sports and recreation category which is at 5% so this really shows that young people are very altruistic, they're very interested in supporting and helping other people. So a really interesting activity, not only to see them using maths in action, but also to see them working in teams, discussing, debating uh, about things that, you know, that affect them and, affect, and will affect their future. I thought it was very good actually. It, like, even from the point of view of just the children understanding where the money goes to and what a big decision that the government need, needs to make. And it also allowed them to divide up money in a fair way, but they also had to kind of argue why certain things got a certain amount of money. So I thought it was a very good um, activity. So this exercise is really great because it made the young people understand the importance of maths uh, in everyday life and in, in real life problems. So, I mean, they worked really well together, uh, discussing the averages and their uh, allocating the different ratios of money. They worked really well and it made them realize that maths is important not only in their lives but in the life of, of society and also they were aware that any jobs they do in the future they will need maths so this is these these young people were really interested in that this is the future and maths is going to be part of their future <laughs>